By now your brain must be thermal throttling by all the information on the intertubes about the top of the line 2018 MacBook Pro that has the monster 6 core 2.9 GHz i9 Intel CPU. Well, I've been motherboarding this device for the last couple of days and there is definitely something going on with this device when it comes to certain applications. But it is not the end of the world and I think it can be fixed with updates. If you haven't seen my 2018 MacBook Pro unboxing video, you can click here and watch that video. In that video I did some tests too and the results were really good. But for this video I did a lot more tests. For example I rendered that MacBook Pro video. 12 minute 4k 100 megabits per second 30 frames per second video from scratch. That is a 180 gigabyte project. Now Let's meet the contenders. On the bottom right, 2018 MacBook Pro with everything maxed out except the storage. On the bottom left, 2017 MacBook Pro with 4 core 2.9 GHz i7 CPU. And behind them, the beast, 18 core iMac One, Pro. Two, three. For this Final Cut Pro 10 test, I deleted all of the rendered files and waited for the computer to re-render them. The Beast iMac Pro finished this task in 6 minutes and 35 seconds. The new and shiny 2018 MacBook Pro finished it in 23 minutes and 42 seconds and the 2017 MacBook Pro finished it in 27 minutes and 56 seconds. This is why I use my iMac Pro for heavy editing. But this is also why I'm comparing it to the 6 core MacBook Pro because it is an alternative solution for my work while I'm traveling. But is this all this 6 core MacBook Pro got? NARP. During this process, none of the fans were spinning at their fastest rate. So I used a little app that gives you control over the fans and I made them spin as fast as possible and rendered the same thing. As you can imagine, not much changed for the iMac Pro. It finished it in 6 minutes and 38 seconds, but the 2018 MacBook Pro finished the task in only 15 minutes. That is almost 9 minutes faster than before. And the 2017 MacBook Pro finished it in 24 minutes and 13 seconds, which is 3 minutes and 43 seconds faster. Kind of makes you realize why a Bugatti Chiron has 10 radiators to cool the engine down. So as you can see, 2018 MacBook Pro has so much more potential. The next test is exporting the rendered project to ProRes 422 file. iMac Pro finished this test in 2 minutes and 5 seconds. 2018 MacBook Pro finished it in 3 minutes and 12 seconds. And the 2017 MacBook Pro finished it in 4 minutes and 38 seconds. Since the fans on the MacBooks were spinning as hard as they can, using the fan app didn't make a noticeable difference. Then I wanted to perform another demanding task, stabilization. I made these devices stabilize a 90 second video. iMac Pro finished in 1 minute and 30 seconds, 2018 MacBook Pro finished in 3 minutes and 27 seconds and 2017 MacBook Pro finished in 4 minutes and 28 seconds. And using the fan app to make it spin faster didn't make a difference because they were already spinning fast. Throttling happens to everything. It happens to laptops, it happens to desktops, it happens to your tablet, it happens to your phone, it happens to me, it happens to you. But that doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with this 2018 i9 MacBook Pro. There are some really weird things happening and you'll be seeing them soon. Now let's move on to another app called Motion. Both Final Cut and Motion are applications by Apple. And as you can imagine, Final Cut is very nicely optimized to run on a Mac OS device. So it is no wonder why this laptop and that application when they're together they perform so great. 
Now in this app motion, I performed a task called tracking. And the results were surprising. iMac Pro finished tracking in 3 minutes and 50 seconds. But 2018 MacBook Pro finished it in 3 minutes and 42 seconds. And 2017 MacBook Pro finished it in 4 minutes and 3 seconds. So 2018 MacBook Pro was faster than an 18 core iMac Pro. But why? This is probably because the app cannot take advantage of the resources. That's why it cannot perform well. Years ago, I compressed a movie in QuickTime using its export feature. And MacBook Air actually performed faster than the trash can Mac Pro. So this can be a similar situation. Just like Motion Compressor, which is another app by Apple cannot take fully advantage of iMac Pro. This is why this $4,000 MacBook Pro compresses 50 GB 4K ProRes 422 file into 4K H.265 and H.264 faster than the $10,000 18 core iMac Pro. And when I say faster, I'm talking about a 6 minute difference because 2018 MacBook Pro finished this task in 19 minutes and 13 seconds. iMac Pro finished it in 25 minutes and 16 seconds. And 2018 MacBook Pro finished it in 29 minutes and 58 seconds. Compressor definitely can't take advantage of the 18 cores. During the compression, you can see through the monitoring app that they aren't doing much. Some of these can be fixed by an update and some of these can't. But when it comes to Adobe, a company who bought Micromedia's Flash and couldn't fix it for years, things begin to change for the 2008 i9 MacBook Pro. 2018 MacBook Pro exported a 5 minute 4K video 2 minutes and 6 seconds after 2017 MacBook Pro. 2017 MacBook Pro finished it in 7 minutes and 8 seconds, where 2018 MacBook finished it in 9 minutes and 14 seconds. And not just that. Even though these computers are connected to power, meaning to the 85 watt charger, 2018 MacBook's battery drained back to 99%. So I decided to try my full speed fan trick and it did help, but still 2018 MacBook finished the task after 2017 MacBook and the 2018 MacBook drained down to 98%. So this means there is a project out there that cannot be exported out of this 2018 MacBook because it will run out of battery before the project can be exported. Let's just think about that for a second. So this is not just a simple throttling issue on Apple's side. Adobe needs to do better as well. But wait, there is one more thing that cripples the 2018 MacBook Pro. And that is Fortnite. I ran Fortnite in a windowed screen next to this horrible app called Power Gadget and things got pretty nasty. I was able to play the game on 2017 MacBook Pro with no problem. I even got a kill. But when it comes to 2018 MacBook, things started to go bananas. The CPU performance was dropping and coming back up constantly. And actually MacBook wasn't even that hot either. It was around 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Before it was around 163 degrees Fahrenheit and everything was going great. Even when I turn off this horrible monitoring app, the spikes that caused the frame rate drop came back. They were wider apart, but they came back. And that is probably why this terrible app called Power Gadget got removed from Intel's website and made a comeback with another version. Before I concluded my tests, I wanted to do a Final Cut Pro 10 export while background render is turned off. And what happened next will blow your... Okay, okay, I'm not gonna do that. The 2018 MacBook Pro went into limbo. The screen shut down, the fans turned off, but the trackpad was still clickable. But it happened only once 
And when I restarted the computer, everything went back to normal. So what does all this mean? Honestly, I feel like all of this can be fixed and it will be fixed with a couple of updates from Apple, Adobe and others. Am I worried? Not at all. Do I want to return this? No, I'm gonna keep it. And on top of that, I'm on the lucky side because I don't use Premiere and I don't play Fortnite. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about 2018 MacBook Pro's alleged problems. I mean, I feel like even if this thing starts heating up, even if it starts acting up, I'll be fine because I always hear that song in my head. All the MacBook i9s, 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 now put your lids up. The MVP club, chip next up, I'm doing my i9 things. Export here, compress there, just another render and it is so fast, but will it last? Will the thermal throttle kick in? What's my got to ride? Is MacBook alright? Or is it so hot right now? That MacBook is so hot right now. Ooh, if you like it, then you should have bought a fridge with it. If you like it, then you should have bought a fridge with it. If you like it, then you should have bought a fridge with it. If you like it, then you should have bought a fridge with it. Walk MacBook, don't throttle now.